friends and welcome to Timmy's Tiki Tuesdays where we get free kit with Tiki each and every Tuesday. Usually I would be in the middle of my field making some banging Tiki drinks however today I'm going to be in my shed. That's right we're getting free kit in my shed because there is an absolute storm of brewing and I ain't going out there in the middle of the field making Tiki drinks to get wet and moist. Or I might, I don't know. But today we're in my shed. So for that exact reason, we are doing a very special cocktail called The Hurricane. Now this one was created in the 40s at Pat O'Brien's bar in New Orleans. Created basically just to get rid of his excess of rum that he had. Now I don't know how the hell you get an excess of rum, but that's what he had and this is what he made because of that. Now there is multiple variations of this cocktail. Most modern versions, like you'll find in the chain bars, consist of loads of grenadine and they're all neon red and bright. However, we're going to be doing a mix of the old classic and probably going to be doing Chris McMillian's... McMillian? Is that how you say his name? Chris McMillian. It's a cocktail god. I should know, I should know his name. Um, but yeah, he did a 2006 recipe, which is more like a tropical fruit salad and not overly sweet. So we're going to be making that version. Most contain, I mean, it's just one rum. However, we're going to be using a blend of rums. So for this cocktail, you will need a white rum. Now, usually, you know me, I'll be using Bacardi. However, for this one, I'm going to go in hard and I'm going to be using Ray and Nephew Overproof White Rum. I'm going to be using Gosling's, a nice um, dark rum. I'm going to be using some passion fruit syrup, some vanilla liqueur, some pineapple juice, some orange juice, some aromatic bitters, some maraschino cherries, some grenadine, and some citrus. Okay? Now, it does sound like a lot of ingredients, but I promise you there's other variations which I will include um, below in the information bit on how to make other variations. I mean, the original cocktail was literally just to get rid of rum. It was just rum, sugar, and citrus. That's it. But it flew off and took off by storm, and they adapted it into what we see today. So, without further ado, let's make some cocktails. So for this, I'm going to need some ice, and I appear to have forgot that. Get your ice, guys. And I'm back, and I have ice. Okay, so for this, you're going to need some cubed ice and some crushed ice. Now, you don't really need crushed ice, but ice. Okay, so put your hurricane glass aside. Now, this is the hurricane glass. It is, I, I'm assuming this is where the drink got its name from because it is served in a hurricane glass, to be fair. Um, so, without further ado, get your cocktail shaker. And then what you're going to do is fill your shaker up with cubed ice in your shaker. There we go. So we're going in hard. So we're going to go for about 30 mils. So I did say this is going to be a strong rum drink. Ooh, yes. So we're going to go for about 30 mil of your white rum. Like I said, I'm using overproof. You could set fire to this if you wanted. It's going to set fire to my mouth. Uh, I'm going to use a nice dark rum. Now there is other dark rums you can use. This is a very molasses based rum, molasses forward rum. Um, you can use other ones like um, Mount Gay. That's a popular one for the hurricane. Ain't no mountain gay enough. Beautiful. Next up, we're going to go for some vanilla liqueur. Now you can use, um, I think is it Galliano um, or Liqueur 43. You can use either of those. And we're going to go for a about 15 mil, so just enough to add a bit of sweetness, but we don't want it sugary sweet, so that's why we're using a liqueur. Now, this Chris McMillian cocktail is the one that features the vanilla liqueur. Most recipes don't, so you don't need to track it down, but you know what? Let's see what it tastes like. I don't know. Next up, you're going to need some passion fruit syrup. Now, this was featured in the original recipe. It was basically passion fruit syrup, um, white rum, and some citrus. So about 25 mil, 25 mil of passion fruit syrup. Gorgeous. Okie dokie. So we've got those. Oh God, that smells fantastic. Next up, we're gonna add some lime juice. So get your lime and what you're gonna do is give your lime a roll. Now this is gonna release all the juices up inside that lime. Gotta get your lime for squeezers. Next, half that lime and Get your juicer. Now, if you don't have a juicer, just use your fingers. Finger it. Get that nice and juicy. Oh, come in. And you're going to want, like I said, about 25 mils of lime juice. Fresh is best. Now, 
we're going to put in the same amount of lime juice to the syrup so we balance out that flavor balance out that flavor so it's not too sweet and it's not too sour next up we're going to add the juice so we're going to go for some orange juice now you can squeeze your own orange juice or you can just nip to tesco like i did ain't no shame in tesco's value you guys so we're going to go for 60 ml of orange juice there we go then it's time for the pineapple juice. Give it a shake. Again, you're gonna go for 60 ml. Beautiful. So, just so we're all keeping up, you got 30 ml of white rum, 30 ml of dark rum, 25 ml of passion fruit syrup, about 15 ml of vanilla liqueur, 25 ml of lime juice. Next up, we're gonna add two dashes of aromatic no we're not aromatic it's aromatic yeah two dashes of aromatic bitters one two there we go gorgeous and then i guess it's time to shake 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 it shake it right so here we go get your cocktail shaker pop your top on give it a shake Give it a really, really good shake. And once it starts to give you that muffled noise, that's telling us it's ready. There we go. Give it a pop. Take your top off. Put that aside. Then get your hurricane glass. And your strainer. Now, we're not going to put any ice in just yet. We're going to do that later. And you're going to strain it into your hurricane glass. Beautiful. Ooh. Nice. Now, it's time for your crushed ice. So, get your crushed ice from the depths of your groin. I promise you there is ice here. I'm not just playing with myself. Ooh. And just bob some crushed ice in there. This is a very, very rummy smelling drink. I love it. There we go. Put your ice down. Now it is time to add the grenadine. So this is where we're going to get that neon red colour. So there we go. Of course we've got an overspill. Why wouldn't we? Did I overdo it with the ice? Yes. Yes, I did. There we go. So the reason why we're putting the crushed ice on top and not all the way through and pouring over is because we want the grenadine just to gently sit across and create a beautiful little red layer over and it'll start to slowly fade in with all the other drinks. So, gonna bob that there a second. Now it's time to get your pineapple. And then cut the bottom off it without trashing your bar. There we go. Yeah, you know it's coming. Gorgeous. Put Mr. Pineapple there. Now, I did actually have a little star thing that's supposed to be for dough. I want to try that. It'd be so cool if I get a little star of pineapple. Star of nice star of pineapple. There we go. Oh my days, it works. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a star of pineapple. Now, get yourself a little pineapple leaf. Don't forget to get yourself something to suck on. Stick that in there. Beautiful. Get your little pineapple star. Star of the show. Then we're gonna get your maraschino cherries. Which are like eight pounds for a jar. Who, who spends eight pounds on jarred cherries? Me. And then we're going to sit this little guy there. Mm. Oh my god. It's good to drink. I drink these. Right. Now let's see what this tastes like. Um, obviously last week I wasn't very keen on that cocktail. So you will get an honest response. Oh. Oh my days. That is heaven. Oh wow. That is incredible that is fantastic i definitely recommend you make this drink 
I will leave the ingredients for this drink below. If you missed it for the video, or you can just pause and screenshot, I don't know. Wow, yeah, that is my drink of choice. Now the Mai Tai, fantastic. Right guys, leave me, <laughs> whew, the rum's kicking in. Shouldn't have used overproof. Right guys, if you want a cocktail you want to see, if you have a cocktail you want to see me make, leave a message in the comments or drop us a message on Facebook and let's get freaky with Tiki, whether it's in my shed or in the middle of the field. Let's make some Tiki. Cool. Cool.